welcome everybody. Uh, this is the DIY do-it-yourself landscape man and today we're going to talk a little bit about basic flower planting and flower beds and the plant that we're going to show today is a celosia. So this is a celosia. It is a great plant. It's kind of a partly sun plant or a part sun but it does well in full sun as well and this is just kind of a one pint type uh, pot that it's in. Not very expensive, a couple of bucks but they become very colorful, they grow fast, and we're going to plant one today and just kind of go over the basics. As you can see, uh, we're doing a few, and then we're doing some begonias as well as some caladiums, which are elephant ears. So the method is pretty much the same. No matter what plant or flower that you do, you just want to make sure you take your time, you don't rush, you get the hole right, and a few other things that we'll go over today. So <clears throat> the first thing we're going to do is look at the spot where you want it, so I'm going to switch my camera around. And you can't switch your camera around. So I'm going to just set the camera right there. Hopefully that's good. And we know that we want our plant kind of in this area. So for this first one, I've got a kind of indention made in the dirt. Take my tool. This is nice, soft topsoil easy to cut into, it's clean, and the plant should take well to it. Sometimes it's easier once you get the hole to start digging out a little bit. The hole doesn't have to be too terribly big because this is a good soil. If you're using clay or something like that, uh, that might be a different story. If you are using clay, to make sure you dig a big enough hole, you mix it with some, some sort of potting soil uh, and whatnot, and here's the hole itself. So there's the plant. Go back to balancing our phone and what you're going to do is you're going to kind of squeeze it a little bit make sure you take the tag out get that plant out be careful should come out nice and clean now you have the plant in out as it was in the pot and it's got a bunch of little roots running around it so what you want to do at this point is use your little tool to kind of break these roots but be careful because you don't want the whole thing to kind of crumble I'm holding it in my hand and you can kind of hear them crack as you're cutting them I'm just kind of poking them. And this will allow the roots to take in the soil a little bit better. Just do it all the way around. On the bottom also. And now it's ready. Uh, one thing I want to do beforehand is I take some fertilizer. I use Sure Start. And I just take a handful of it and just kind of put it in the hole. And I'm going to set this down in there. And then just kind of fill in around it a little bit with this topsoil. Making sure it's nice and level. It's compacted. And it's okay if you have a little bit of the uh, plant sticking out the top. I do that a little bit. Cover around it. And if you're wondering what this pot is behind it, it's just kind of a decorative uh, aspect where I've got a pot falling over in the flower bed. Kind of looks like it's spilling out and flowers have grown so just trying to do something a little creative once this is down everything's kind of leveled back out i'll take another handful of this fertilizer which again i love it's called sure start and i'll put a little bit on top kind of just sprinkle it around make sure the leaves aren't buried plants nice and straight i'm gonna grab my hose i just kind of missed around it Change the mist. There we go. I like to use the mist because it just doesn't soak it too terribly much. It's not breaking off any of the stems. And you don't want to put so much water that the fertilizer runs away. Just kind of give it a good soaking. And then if you want to push some more dirt back up around it, you can do that as well. And that's pretty much it. It's really easy. Just make sure you take your time. You decide ahead of time where you want to put your flowers. Just kind of stage them out and you'll have a great looking bed. Just make sure you're cognizant of whether they're full sun or part sun and the plants are in the appropriate area. So these are part sun but I know that they do good in full sun as well and they are really colorful uh, and it's just a great little plant. So best of luck and we'll see you guys next time. Take care.